All right, guys. So the very first thing we have to do is come up to our file and we're going to make a copy. And when we make our copy, we can just change that to our own name and save that. Now, remember that we're going to be using the primary and the secondary colors to create this radial design. So I already have this triangle. You want the triangle to stay that size. You come in here and get your other shapes. Kind of like when we were making our faces before, um, the big thing is the shapes have to stay inside of this triangle. So you can kind of move them around where you want them to go. You can think about the different um, sizes that you might want things to be. Um, you get to decide what colors, all those things. Again, keeping in mind that it's going to be that red, yellow, blue, orange, green, and purple because we're using those main primary and secondary colors. Um, come in here, maybe get like a little triangle. Think about also how maybe your colors can touch the edges. That'll make a little more sense here in just a couple minutes when we get to the next parts of this. Um, make a couple more triangles here. Maybe spin this guy a little bit. And it looks like orange is the color I still need. So I'm going to make one more of these and go with orange. So I have my red, my yellow, my blue, my orange, my green, my purple. I could decide if I want my lines to be thick on all of them or if I want my lines to be thinner. You're going to get to decide. I'm going to go with thick lines on this just so you can kind of see how this is all working out here. Once I have that all done though, I select all of it. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna group it. Then I'm gonna come back up here and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna flip it. I have to flip horizontally or vertically. It doesn't really matter. I did forget to do one of the things. I have to make a copy of that. There we go. Now my copy is what I'm gonna flip. And then I have my little rotator circle here so I can rotate that and I want it to be right on there and I can line that up now remember I said I wanted those shapes to touch on those edges and that's because it's gonna make this design work here it looks like I had just a little bit off okay so then I'm gonna select it all and I am going to group that again so then I'm gonna come control C control V and if I give it just a little quarter of a turn and slide it over, and then I could go control V and give it more of a rotation and slide that on down and control V for my last one and slide that one on down there will be my radial design. So it all radiates from the center. Um, again, you can decide exactly what you want that to look like. Remember, you're gonna go file, download as a JPEG, and then you can upload that to Artsonia, okay? So that is your assignment for today. Make sure that you get that radial design, that you use the red, yellow, blue, orange, green, and purple, and just keep making designs until you come up with like a really awesome design that you like.